place to get some fresh gas. We're gonna pour some of it in the tank along with the a rust dissolver. And then, so what I would do first, yeah, that's fine, yep. So he's uh, mixing a rust dissolver and then we're gonna pour it in the tank. And see, may hopefully that, we need to find a solution that will actually dissolve all that crap. Well, if it leaks out, that's not a bad sign. So just pour a little bit try in there. Some, try some first. And... Yeah, try some first. Just coming out of the drain hose. Nothing is coming out of that one. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. That's crazy. This is isn't this just the, the fill that we just poured in there? That's crazy. Damn, this tank like shrunk. Oh man. There's a hole right there. Seems weird it would fill up that much. Tank. So this tank shrunk and I'm most likely sure why because probably uh, the the reason why they get shrunk like this is your evaporative system, which they have like a another hose that goes and vents the tank. The tank hose is probably like clogged. There's usually a valve on that side, right where the rear, uh, left rear tire is. That thing is really like shrunk. Oh, wow. insane all right guys well this is what we're seeing this fuel tank is completely shot it's shrunk and it's completely clogged up so it's hard to say why it's like that but most likely is the evaporative and the hose that goes from the tank got blocked off and the vapors couldn't escape anywhere and stuff that's my theory but uh, it's pretty insane to be honest with you the stuff that's happened but we're about to pull this tank out you know and then we will decide we'll probably have to get a different tank for this thing adventures never end it's about 2 a.m in the morning and then we're removing the fuel tank so we're probably gonna try after we would take the fuel tank off you know, it's just going to be off. I just want to inspect it and just look at it. But we're going to try to start this engine uh, by passing the fuel tank. So hopefully that works. I just want to hear this engine run. Okay, so we took off this tank finally after fighting it. And this thing's actually full. So it was a pain actually to take it out. It's going to take this thing off and we will see what's inside but it's probably going to be a some really terrible uh views damn we might need a pry bar or a, like a socket for this do you have a socket for this is it um, 19 and a 15. breaker bar yeah There we go. I'm really curious. What is this thing hiding? Oh, man. Oh, that is nuts. What's in there? 
It's all black. Oh, man. That's our seal right here, all totally flat. Shine some light in there. Oh, man. Let's look at the walls. I can't tell. Do you have that small flashlight? Ooh. Oh, man. All the walls are actually crazy. Damn! That is crazy. I can't. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen something like this in my life before. And just so you know guys, the bottom main filter is totally clogged. We removed one of the hoses from it and nothing was draining completely at all. So what I would recommend now is get a pry bar and let's stick it down in there. Let's make some soup. It's nasty. See, it even like made a noise, like, shh, whoa. It's probably the worst thing a lot of people have seen. <laughs> Isn't that something? Damn. This looks yummy, guys. You wanna try it? Bro, this thing is nuts. That thing would fill up and not even drain. Shoo. Damn. Oh my goodness. I have never seen something like that before. Look at this. Look at the amount of this sludge. <laughs> Damn. That is a lot of it in there. It's almost like chewing gum. Boy. Ooh. So this is how much stuff I was able to take out from this tank. It's like a gooey substance. It's pretty crazy. And I never thought a gasoline can turn into something like this. Like... This is craziness. Super nuts. For real. All right, guys, we're gonna try to start this thing really quick just with uh, um, with some starting fluid and that's about it. Uh, the fuel system will have to be cleaned up. I'm pretty sure the fuel filter is also clogged up. So we have the fuel tank out. So we will start figuring out what to do with all that stuff, but as of right now, the car is still pretty much dead, but it's getting in there. We did a lot of work today. The fuel tank, you know, at least we found out what the issue was and all that. Hang on, not yet, I'll tell you. Super stiff. Are you holding the gas pedal or no? Man, try to press the gas, the floor. Oh man, this thing is super stiff. They have like PB blaster or something. This throttle plate is not opening whatsoever. Ugh. Right there. It should open, but it's not. Right. 
it's all sticking right here. Everything is so bad and stiff. So if you have like a, I don't know, ATF, some kind of sh stuff that we can pour in there. Onto these connectors, these ball joints, everything is dry here. Go ahead, try it. Alright, shut it off. Okay. She's running. I don't know what that was noise was. Could be anything. Uh, let's try it one more time. All right, try it again. Okay, hang on. I want to have it at least for three seconds. I want to see if it's if it sounds any good. Everything is fine. Try it. starts up that's good all right that's good starts up just got to figure out this fuel situation and everything else um yeah that's the main thing focus on the fuel system and see uh and then see what what else you need to do with this but main thing is the fuel